Low on supply. Muta's going for the towers. And if he gets both of these towers, he'll have nothing left to defend his base. A few marines pop in. He did lose a few mutas. Three, four mutas, five. And he just lost a lot. He lost six of his mutas for no reason. I guess preparing for this attack down here. And one muta flying around. And it's going to not get there. Very annoying, these mutas. Very dangerous. Very deadly. However, a very good attack. It did take out most of his base, and he obviously had an engineering bay being built someplace else just to be ready for that. Oh, down here. So, a couple more towers coming up. All you need is a few to handle the mutas, and he's moving back, taking out that expansion, lifting up, and then those marines, sorry, you are goners. You're going to have to drop them. Those mutas will be able to destroy them. However, once he gets away from the zerglings, the threat is gone, and so those 12 marines, or 16 marines, however many there were, would be able to handle that many mutas, especially with Stimpak and some healing from these medevacs. However, if he can get in there with his Zerglings and his mutas, he will not be able to. So, stimming up, sniping one mutalisk, and he's about trapped here. He's not going to be able to lift up, because if he lifts up, those mutas get him. But he's going to have to try to engage, trying to probably kill as many mutas as he can before they die. Sniping the medevacs, and I'm not sure what exactly he lost, but it did not look pleasant to be in that spot right there. As you can see, Idris sitting with a ton of mineral, or yeah, a ton of minerals here, and I'm not sure what he's planning on doing with that. If he's just going to get some more zerglings, the air harass is continuing, and he's got no towers here and no marines here, and these will be a bunch of dead workers if he's not careful. Up to nine workers killed. That's it. But getting a few towers and <laughs> 16 mutas. Though, what will they do? Losing one, almost losing one. Not quite. So pulling back for now. And very well played so far from both of them. God, those mutas. Gotta hate them. Unless you're a Zerg, then you gotta love them. If you're a Zerg, you go, wow, I gotta learn how to do that. Because they're so effective if you micro them properly. They can do so much damage. And then they have complete ability to just fly wherever they want and attack more. Forces the opponents to build a few more towers. Getting his supply depots rebuilt. But look at the supply right now. 190 supply for Idra versus 97 for Happy. So it's not that great. And look at this. He's trying to build. But Muta's trying to get a few shots on that command center. But now there's nothing up here except for these towers. And the tower is just going to get dropped with this many Muta's. Yes, you can go through the towers. Workers getting shredded. Taking out the refinery. And he'll probably just have free reign over this base. And the beauty is even if he brings back these marines, he's... Well, I guess he did leave a few back here. That was very smart of him. A couple more turrets going down. And Muta's just hanging out right now. And this is this is the scary part about him. He's got this one base up and running, but he's got half of his army here with a few towers and half of his army up here with a few towers. Not sure what he's planning on doing. Let's check out the army supply. I mean, I know it's... Oh my god, 51 to 114. So it's just over double what is opponent has and double his workers too. A huge amount of zerglings coming in. That's what he's spending his extra minerals on. He's just going to sacrifice them to probably try to take this out. A uh, few banelings rolling through too. So zerglings just going to town. Getting them in with the workers and the marines. That way when they get attacked by the tanks the splash hits that too. Sending in the mutas to try and take this out. Uh, I'm not sure why he's not going for the towers yet. Those would be obviously the most dangerous thing for him and oh my god losing a lot of mutas that many marines and that many tanks I guess we're able to handle the mutas with the towers and the zerglings I guess that is a planetary fortress so that does some splash too so nice defense from happy here I I thought that could have been it shows what I know however reinforcing with even more mutas and this harass will just continue we have more zerglings in production more marines in production more medevacs more tanks so Marine Medevac Tank looks like the game for Happy, and he will see what he can do. I don't like this armor replacement right here. It's very vulnerable to these mutas. I don't know if that SCV will even live to finish it. In fact, no he will not. Tower going down. Armory getting forced to cancel. One muta loss. Will he lose any more? A couple Marines going down. These mutas not caring really about these Marine numbers. Sniping a Medevac. And this harassment. So, so dangerous. So, so deadly. Idrid getting another expansion. Has this one up and running with a ton 
of spines. So army wise, it looks like Idra is still capped out, getting a greater spire, usually indicative of some broodlords coming up, which he will be able to use to bust through these towers fairly easily if he gets them up and running. Again, he has supply caps and just continuing to harass all the while a swarm of zerglings moving around, dancing around, and a push maybe coming out from Happy, even though he's even though he's got the smaller army, it's uh, pretty good at dealing with these. If he can catch them, it does leave his base a little vulnerable. Again, two towers here, four towers here. I guess the planetary fortress does help too. But chasing down these mutas, stimming up, trying to catch them. And don't look now, but you have a ton of zerglings and banelings behind you. And oh dear lord, this will hurt. And look at these go to town. Will he be able to hold this off? Will the Banelings go? Banelings destroying its swarm of Zerglings. And yeah, that was a ballsy move on Happy's part to move out. Especially with this much creep on the map and trying to chase down these mutas. It's hard enough to chase them down. But once he knows that it's happening and then that Zerglings can just move so fast, especially on creep. Get around, get in behind him. And what is even left? Nothing left of Happy's army except a few medevacs. So, ballsy play. I mean, I know it sucks dealing with the harass, and it sucks giving a Zerg free reign on a map like this, but, I mean, he had the few bases, and uh, I think he could have waited to have a little more army. Again, he didn't know that Idra had 200 supply, and he's sitting there with 150 or so, and said, hey, screw it, I gotta push before he takes over the entire map, and he did have almost half of it done. So, Ballsy play, didn't work out. Good game though between these two. Hope you all enjoyed it. Again, I am Zord, and this will be the last game of the series. I'll have some more up soon. Check back often. Hope you enjoyed it.